Hey guys, Tyler at North 40 Fly Shop in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Um, today we're going to be doing a uh, fly tying video on uh, squalas. We're getting ready to come into spring here and squalas are one of our uh, infamous hatches that we get every spring that everybody looks forward to. It's one of our first big fly hatches that we get and uh, can be awesome. Um, this particular guy here is uh, kind of an extended body version. Um, we've got some white poly wing on there for a good high vis. Uh, uh, wing there, um, but really cool looking fly, very realistic looking, um, has some good rubber legs on it so it's going to it's gonna move a lot. Um, we twitch these a lot so twitching the fly during a stonefly hatch is, is always a great technique. Um, so we leave these legs a little bit long so they move uh, when you twitch them, but uh, great profile, um, good looking bug and uh, we're going we're gonna to get into it. Hey guys, so here's the material list for, uh, for my squalor pattern. Uh, hook, we're going to do a 270 size 8 Dairiki. Do white widow's web or poly yarn for the overwing. Pearl flashaboo for the underwing. Black silicone legs or silly legs for the legs. Uh, ice dub brown, UV brown or olive brown for the uh, for the dubbing. Zap a gap. Bl black uni 60 or whatever you guys want to use for that for the uh, for your thread. Uh, Rainy's two mil olive or dark olive sheet foam for the extended body. And then Rainy's one mil sheet foam for the uh, in gray for the uh, underwing. All right, guys. So here we go. Um, so let's start out with uh, we're going to use a strip of foam about oh three three and a half inches long, and go ahead and cut it about quarter inch wide, fold it in half, okay, and go ahead and squish it down a little bit here, and then you're going to find the quarter point between the half, and that's where we're going to uh, stick the hook through the foam. So, go ahead and pierce the foam right there. Put it in the vise and go ahead and scoot it off to the side. All right, go ahead and tie in. First segment here. Okay, and as we progress back up the the extended body here, make sure you're you're crossing over the top of the foam and not underneath, so you get a nice clean look underneath there. And same thing when you come back, you're going to cross over the top. That will all get covered up by a piece of our uh, one mil gray foam for our our underwing, so you won't see that, um, and it'll look nice and clean. So. So now we're going to progress up the body. About five or six wraps per section here. Cross over. over okay um, just let the bobbin hang there and we're gonna put our tails on and you can leave that tag long we'll come back and trim that up here in a minute <clears throat> grab another you see your silly leg there. And to actually tie it right on top of the foam and then scoot it over afterwards. All 
There you go. And then again, crossing over on the top, coming back down. And good. All right, so. And we'll actually come back through later and head cement our extended body. And that'll just add some a little bit of durability to the thread wraps and gives it kind of a cool sheen to it as well. So there we go. And then again, you can see the, the foam really likes to twist a lot there. So we're going to add some super glue to it. need much just a little bit there and then go ahead and just hold it in for a couple seconds here good all right next we'll add our first set of legs don't need many wraps here Then a little bit of dubbing. Yeah, actually, wait a minute. We're gonna get our. Uh, forgot to put our underwing on here. So our gray one mil foam. And if you see, we've done a little bit of a round on the end there. So we're gonna just lay it in there as long as the body is. And then we can add our dubbing over top. We don't need much. It's just really to cover up the thread. Okay, and then come over on top here, create your other segment, and kind of crank that down. All right. Good, and trim that. And then our legs, our second set of legs. Again, not many wraps. Okay, and then we'll do our flashaboo for the underwing as well. Trim. All right, and then our widow's web. Or a wing. I'm actually going to add a, just a touch of super glue here. Not much, just a little tiny bit, and that's going to help hold that wing in a little bit better. Trim the wing. Just touch more glue. And then dubbing. Okay. And then carefully trim off this excess foam here. And go ahead and secure this, the butt ends of the foam down really well. And right, then we're going to cut another small strip of foam. 
not quite as wide as the extended body, but just a little bit narrower. And this is going to be for the uh, the head portion. So pull your legs back, just kind of get them out of the way. And this guy's going to sit right up on top here. Don't let them roll over. So secure them down well. good all right looking good so then last bit of dubbing here and get our legs out of the way okay and then fold piece of phone back. Just a few wraps there. Trim. I'm leaving a little bit of a tag there. Kind of covers up a little bit of the dubbing in the wing. And then tie them off. Just need a couple half inches on there and then we'll trim his legs up just a touch here. Then we'll take them out of the vise. And if you can see, that underbody looks nice and clean. Segments are even. Pretty good looking bug. And then we'll get our, put them back in here for just a second. We'll get our head cement. And just add some head cement to your thread wraps underneath there. everywhere and I think we're looking good give them a little bit more of a hairdo and there's our squala guys this is a killer fly for the spring um, the uh, western Montana trout streams the Clark Fork St. Joe Coeur d'Alene Bitterroot are kind of your prime examples of where this fly will be hatching here in late March, April, and uh, first part of May, but uh, it's a fun one. So come check us out at North 40. Thanks.